So how do we express from? Because there are three ways that we can do that in the Cebuano language. Sukad, gikan, and taga. Um, and the last one, taga, is actually a, an affix. So some of these might be a little confusing, right? But there's going to be a sentence at the end that will demystify. Gikan means it's a verb. Gikan actually means to come from a place or somewhere or an origin. It's a verb, okay? Um, so you're coming from an origin or a place or just somewhere, right? A place somewhere, right? That's gikan. Uh, sukad, it's an adverb, an, an adverb that can help you transition from one, from one idea to another thought to another idea, right? So an adverb, and it means somewhere along the lines of since then or from then on or since after or after that so from 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 thereafter so these um suka just kind of has that meaning of okay from here on after from then on or after that kind of kind of feel and taga our affix the only affix is is close to gikan but it's an affix to mean that you are f uh, being from a place, to be from a place, not coming from a place, okay? So gikan is to come from a place of origin or somewhere, while taga means to be from a place. You are from that place, all right? Um, and then here on below is our sentence that's going to incorporate all of them. Taga Estados Unidos si Anya, apan gikan siya sa Mexico. Nibalhin ang yang ginikanan sa din... <clears throat> oh, whoa, this is wrong. Nibalhin ang yang ginikanan din hi... Not sa... Sorry about that. Okay. Nibalhin ang yang ginikanan din hi para magtrabaho ug sugat niya to din hi na sila nagpuyo. Alright? So, sorry about that because uh, I do make errors. I am human. But, taga Estados Unidos si Anya. So... Anya is from the United States, but apan gikan siya sa Mexico, but she's from Mexico, or she came from Mexico, I should say, right? She's from Mexico. She came from Mexico, okay? Taga Estados Unidos si Anya, apan gikan siya sa Mexico. So she's probably, she's an, she's probably an American with Mexican descent, or of Mexican heritage, or of Mexican background, right? Apan gikan siya sa Mexico, but she came from Mexico. That's the first sentence, okay? Taga, again, she's from the U.S. She is from, again, to be, so she is from the U.S. But Gikan, again, to come from a place, she came from Mexico. So she has origin, I guess, of Mexico or from Mexico. Or she, um, she arrived in the United States from Mexico to come from a place of origin, you see? And the last sentence reads, Nibalhin ang iyang ginikanan dinhi. So we'll stop there with the first clause. Nibalhin, so her parents moved he, uh, her parents moved here so that or para in order to magtrabaho, in order to work and ug suka niato and after that and from then on and since then right it has that kind of meaning suka right suka niato comma dinhi nasila nagpuyo ug suka niato dinhi nasila puyo okay so and from then on or since then here is where they are living, or they have been living here, okay? So I hope this can help you uh, demystify some of this stuff with sukat, gikan, and taga.